WFNN. Headline News Update. Hi folks, Basil Chapman for the 11 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network market update. Dow's down 38, Dow's down 48, Dow's down 53. That's just been all over the show, but it did hit a low this morning of 31,476. And it went underneath the Chapman Wave inside track, propellant zone, and just, uh, it better get back into the 31,000, 32,000s, at least by the end of the day or tomorrow, otherwise it's a big problem. All right, we're looking at the uh, S&P, which had uh, also a big pullback, but now it's not down as much. In fact, it turned around from being down to up nine at 39.44. In the low today is in the 38.77 area. Hmm, this is very nice. This is up 70 points from the low. And the weekly chart doesn't look great. And the monthly chart also doesn't look great. We've got a lot of work to do next week if there's going to be any upside activity. We're looking at the QQQ. Now, this is a nice turnaround. The Q is a big candle today. It went down to 285. And now it's trading at 293.94, just under the high of the day. This is really important. In trough G, a leg G to the downside. I want to give an alternative count yet. It needs by tomorrow afternoon, instead of taking out today's low by tomorrow afternoon at 285.04, it needs to try its best to try to get into the body of the wick of the candle of yesterday, which would be at 300.90. Holding that level for 90 minutes or more says, great, now you can hit the pink 305.33, uh, 305.33, 9-period exponential moving every IWM, being very weak, but is trying to turn around here, looking a little bit better. It's up 254 at 173. Has gold come back a little bit? No. It's down 12, 18.49. The dollar is still holding near the most recent recovery high. It's at 104.58. Fabulous actions. Actually, for the third week above the, the, the high of back in 2023. Uh, uh, 2023, 2020. So this is really important. We're looking at um, the TLT bonds. I never even did that in my show. We spoke about so many other things. Up 23 ticks at 118.37. Uh, 11817. <clears throat> My suspicion is that bonds are going to run a little bit and then they're going to do a test. And that's going to be the big test of the 115 level uh, in the next couple of days. We're looking at uh, the VIX index. And this is really important. I was saying in my show, the VIX is now at 38.87. If it's able to go to the low 32s and the Dow is able to hold minus 20, I'd prefer if it was up 43 points or more after 2.30 to 3 p.m. Finally, we could get a decent close instead of a sell-off at the end of the day. Hold tight. You've got Larry Pesavento coming up. Don't forget Larry's uh, all-day webinar coming up on Tuesday. Uh, check out my opening call and great programming here for the rest of the day. You've got uh, Think of Sport and Steve